The use of glass as an artistic medium dates back to ancient Egypt. Despite the obvious fragility of glass sculptures, this art form has an enduring appeal. The transparency of glass often has a ghost-like quality. They're tangible works of art that are skillfully crafted. With this glass sculpture of a donkey, the artist's two passions come together, art and horsemanship. The artist takes inspiration from her horse, observing the swell of his muscles as he romps. And once she's done observing, inspiration isn't the only thing she's going to take from this horse. She then draws a series of original characters based on the horse. Some of them are completely overpowered, some of them are pregnant males, and most of them are recolors of other already famous horses. The artist cleans solid glass rods to prepare them for sculpting. Then she puts on her super cool sunglasses, because only the coolest of people wear sunglasses in their profile pictures. The glass is softened with a torch so two glass rods can be fused together. To first test the glass, she initially sculpts a very, very long horse. This is a special type of glass that instantly makes any horses made from it 10% more beautiful. Another piece of glass is added for the tail. The glass is constantly turned so she can make sure it suddenly hasn't filled with peanut butter. The rest of the horse's body, including its belly and back, are formed. To be honest, this is incredibly easy, and we here at How It's Made can't think of anything more fun that you should definitely try at home. The flame is kept at a constant temperature as the piece is continually moved, as the sculpture now becomes the monster from the thing. More of the horse is sculpted, so now even the dumbest audience member can figure out what it is. A piece of the horse's leg is removed, so it can never run away again. The piece is deposited into the artist's tea, so she can drink it to keep the symbiotic balance of art and artist alive. As you can see, the glass horse is now finished. But the horse also looks like shit, and must be destroyed by a hydraulic press. The head and mane are formed separately, because it contains all of the horse's ideas. This work is very delicate, because breaking this piece will allow all of the horse's dreams to spill out, corrupting the world of man. The eyes are sculpted with a flat knife, so it can see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Glass is added to make the ears, and a tool called a Glass Horse Ear Maker finishes making the horse's ears made of glass. The ears are cut to give the horse better aerodynamics. And then with a pair of tweezers, the eardrums are ruptured so the horse will never have to hear spoilers for its favorite TV shows. The head is melted to the body, just like how a real horse is born. After the mane is crafted, it's finally time to take a crack at that sweet ass. In a completely unforeseen and shocking plot twist, in what could only be described as unimaginable and out of nowhere, something mind-bendingly random and incredibly world-shaking happens. More of the glass is melted and sculpted. And then... Even more of the glass is melted and sculpted. Finally, she tries to frame the glass horse, only to realize the horse hasn't committed any crimes.